Okay, so let us try this again. Aloha and welcome. My name is Master Paul. I'm honored to connect with you today, May 24, 2017. Uh, this is a second shot at the live stream, so please forgive me if I'm repeating myself and you saw the first part. Uh, this live stream today is a very important one and so important that I got knocked off the first time. And so this is associated with the condition of understanding from a spiritual perspective the nature of cancer. So if you are watching this for the very first time, highly recommend you stay tuned. There is a great deal of additional information that can be gained. For those of you that have this condition, know of somebody that has this condition, you have a great possibility of bringing uh, additional wisdom into their life that could very positively impact the potential outcome. Uh, it is important that anybody that has this condition continue to um, see their, uh, their source of, of health and wellness. If that's a Western medical doctor or an Eastern medical doctor or a naturopath, whatever that is, by all means, do not uh, alter whatever your uh, desired choices. This information is designed to assist you with a deeper understanding of the root cause of cancer and the spiritual significance of that understanding could, if you apply the wisdom that will be shared here today, could significantly impact the positive outcome uh, or the end result. It's designed in essence to supplement or enhance whatever you're currently doing. So thank you all for your patience and all those who uh, were returned to this live stream. Um, I wish I had somebody at Facebook to talk to since this has happened numerous times. It's quite frustrating, but nevertheless, it's an opportunity to, to grow and offer forgiveness. So thank you all for joining. Um, welcome Ali, welcome Nebedita, welcome also to Tammy Hunter and Elizabeth, welcome NNC, welcome Jota, aloha to Johannes again, welcome Janine, welcome Dana. Welcome Robin Toth, Aloha Lisa, and welcome Ali, welcome Susan, and welcome Richie Souder. Welcome also to CJ and to Doug Ferrari. Coming in from late in Europe, unless you're back home, Doug. Uh, welcome also to Abby Lynn Olson and to Janet. Welcome Becky Lafave. Welcome Jennifer Cress Smith. And um, there were some new people that got kicked off and Kristen if it's possible for you to connect with them and give them this new link that would be great uh, thank you so much for that welcome Lisa and also welcome to Sherry Lee Hartree so thank you all for hitting that share button especially share with those people uh, that you know may have the condition of cancer because this will be a very um, oh, thank you Kristen you rock this would be a very enlightening service to them, uh, very possibly could save their life. Um, one of the things that I was alluding to in the previous live stream was that this condition is not, uh, not does not come on uh, accidentally. There's the physical world aspects to it that bring it about. There is the spiritual world aspects of it that are the precursor to the physical world representation. It's no different than anything that happens in our life. If you have consistency of car accidents, which consistently causes you additional back pain, and I've come across many people with has that kind of condition, that is not accidental, guys. It is directly related to uh, the soul world. And so what we'll be talking about today for all those that are new or tuning in or listening for the very first time is the interconnectivity of the soul world and this condition of cancer. You'll notice with all the different variations of cancer that uh, modern medicine, the Western approach, um, they limit their approach to various organs. They uh, look at each the way the, um, this, this uh, cancer grows in, a, in the human body as individual to each organ, to each system. And in some ways, uh, uh, the soul perspective would agree with that. 
because it might say, for example, if somebody has cancer of the brain or cancer of the liver, uh, cancer of the lungs, <clears throat> then from the soul world perspective, there is a spiritual debt that has settled in that area. Probably has something to do with causing suffering to others' lungs in previous lifetimes. So there's a value in uh, looking at cancers on an individual basis for an individual organ or system. But in terms of the larger perspective, there is a far greater perspective on the nature of what brought about that. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So again, for all those that are new, might be watching this for the first time. My name is Master Paul and I am a master teacher. I have studied uh, in all realms of spirituality for the last 40 plus years. And uh, I'm over 50 to give you an idea. And so in that period of time, uh, I've come to understand the nature of our purpose here. Uh, uh, I did a teaching on that yesterday. And <clears throat> certainly it might not be the truth for you, but for most people there was enough gems in there that it will assist them on their spiritual journey. We are a soul having a physical experience. And the physical experience, unfortunately, could include conditions like a cancer. And so if it does, the question becomes why? We, uh, as souls having a physical experience, need to take a look at why are we suffering? My teacher is Master Shah. Master Shah is a world-renowned uh, healer. He has many books. This is one of his most recent called Soul, Mind, Body, Science in which, as a very educated man, he is a, a doctor, as you can see on the bottom of his book here, Doctor and Master Shah. He's not a doctor of psychology. He's actually a medical doctor. Um, he no longer has the uh, Western medical license, but he did train in China to receive a full medical license in the Western medicine, as well as in Eastern medicine. And he brings the wisdom of soul after 20 years of dedicated research on the spiritual side of things, exceedingly educated, very well respected, very well known around the world, also a very well known humanitarian, has received many accolades and many awards accordingly. He has a grand master in Qigong, Tai Chi, Feng Shui, I Ching, Kung Fu. And so his, um, his uh, wisdom is not limited to the Eastern or Western model. He speaks about that with great gratitude and appreciation. He simply recognizes that there is limitations that they can only go so far with. And that's why he continued his research into the nature of soul. Uh, his teacher, Master Guo, out of China, was um, well-renowned for one who cured the incurables. And people who had cancers, a lot of people who had cancers and various other maladies, would come to this teacher. He would see several hundred a day at his commissary. And he would uh, issue them herbs and a variety of things from Eastern medicine. But he also would teach them the aspects of soul healing and the nature of spiritual debt and spiritual virtue, virtue also known as karma. And in doing this, <clears throat> he assisted these individuals that came to him to help themselves, which is what this is about. This live stream is setting up a weekend workshop, a four hour workshop that I will offer on June 10, 2017. So that's about two and a half weeks from now. And uh, it will be on a Saturday. And for those uh, that are interested to tell your, your, your loved ones about it, it'll be 8 a.m. in Hawaii time, 11 a.m. in um, California time, Pacific time. It'll be 2 a.m. in the East Coast. It'll be 7 p.m. in the UK and 8 p.m. in uh, Europe. It will be quite early. Uh, or late early in the evening late at night in uh, India and Australia but uh, you can attend if you would desire and this workshop I hope to be able to record it but the workshop is intended to give you the opportunity to um, have a very deep understanding this uh, live stream is designed to give you uh, a cursory understanding and uh, fully 70 or 80 percent of those that are watching today are veterans. They will know a good chunk of some of the information I'll be sharing. So my request to you is to share this with others that you know about. Because I want to state very clearly, 
that this is not a one-stop solution, that people should look at the Western model and the Eastern model and any other model that can assist them. But this is designed to give them a, a deep understanding of the root so that if they do the necessary steps, as will be taught in the workshop, to uproot, then uh, they will have a far greater set of benefits from the Western and Eastern medical model. So the uh, short version is one of the things that Master Shah teaches. Now in this book, Soul, Mind, Body, Science, he teaches uh, practices called the Grand Unification Theory. And what he teaches, uh, in a nutshell, is that everything is made up of Shen, Qi, and Jing. And the Shen, Qi, and Jing uh, is Mandarin Chinese words that translate to soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. Shen breaks down into soul, heart, and mind. Energy is Qi. You've heard of Qigong Tai Chi. Uh, matter is like your blood, like your cells in your body. So everything is made up of energy and matter as well as soul, heart, and mind. And it is the Shen, the soul, heart, and mind that I will be focusing on today. But in order for it to make sense, I want to spend a little bit of time on the energy and matter side. In traditional uh, uh, Western medicine model, uh, the doctors are taught uh, by their respective schools to adjust things on the level of matter. So if somebody has asthmatic conditions or, or, or arthritis or anything of that nature, they try to address it with a pharmaceutical. Now, I uh, use pharmaceuticals. I have uh, breathers uh, if my breathing conditions become uh, difficult. doesn't happen too often, but it's important. I support the uh, Western medical model and believe it is, in many cases, life-saving. If somebody has a significant asthma attack, it could save somebody's life. Um, in general, when chemicals are adjusted in the physical body, it could, it could create imbalances in the various other organs and systems, which is why we see uh, all of the um, FDA regulatory things that are mentioned when the commercials are run. And so even the Western medical model recognizes that the chemical solution for adjusting the matter in the body is not a, 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 um, a solution that, that could truly reverse the condition for the long haul. It typically can put it on a hold pattern. It can uh, slow it down, uh, hopefully for a long time. But generally speaking, sometimes uh, the side effects are uh, detrimental to the human body. They also try the approach of cutting things out. Cancer is a good example of that. Uh, they can see that the mass has formed inside the body and they suggest to cut it out. And then they suggest the radiation and the chemotherapy. Um, so I'm not gonna go down that road and irritate any of those uh, modalities. I don't have a desire to. Um, let us just say that history has shown the success rate has not been that great. <clears throat> um, and they will cut other things out too that have no relationship to cancer. So the Western medical model is to adjust the matter. Cutting things out is adjusting the matter. And adding pharmaceuticals is adjusting the matter. Now the Eastern approach to resolving a health concern is um, by recognizing uh, the ancient teachings of the East, the five elements, wind, rain, thunder, uh, um, dampness, um, there is dryness and dampness, there is east, west, north, south, there is the seasons, there is the colors, there is the, uh, um, the nature of the five elements and cells, earth, wood, fire, fire, metal, water, and its associations to the organs and systems. And their whole perspective is life force energy dictates the health of the body. So if the life force energy of the human body is um, impacted negatively, then the matter, which is under the control of the life force energy, uh, will reflect that. So the 
Eastern medicine model looks at it pretty much entirely different. Uh, they would look at any particular malady as a um, as an imbalance on the energetic level, and they would uh, bring forth efforts to adjust the energy aspects, which then in turn adjust the matter aspects. <clears throat> so they might do, for example, acupuncture, uh, acupressure. If you've ever had acupressure massage, um, they might uh, uh, some of the acupuncture. They'll run electric electricity through the needles themselves. Uh, herbs, of course. Uh, but before they do that, they'll check a person's pulse, various pulses throughout the body. And they'll uh, do a variety of checks, including tongue checks. The tongue is a reflection of the imbalances in the body. So are the eyes. Uh, they will use the ears. The ears has acupuncture points, sometimes the feet through uh, acupressure of the feet. Um, there's a variety of ways, fire, massage. Um, uh, Eastern medicine is very, very deep. And they will use also Tai Chi and Qigong, which is physical body movements that allow the life force energy from heaven and Mother Earth to more readily come through the human body, thereby releasing some of the energetic blockages. Now in the Eastern medicine model, they recognize that there are uh, larger spaces and smaller spaces where the energy runs through. And when the uh, larger spaces are blocked, then you could have significant issues. And when the smaller spaces are blocked, it could create um, issues that build up over time. So the Eastern uh, model of bringing about um, uh, alignment to a person's uh, cancerous condition or whatever the condition might be, looks at it from their perspective. Let's adjust the imbalances in the five elements through the modalities that we have developed over 5,000 years, bring more chi to the body, and that will adjust the matter for us. Actually very, very effective. Both modalities uh, have approximately a 70% effectiveness. And this is what Master Shah discovered, having been a, a medical doctor and trained in both modalities. However, since the age of five, he had trained with um, great beings uh, who were very advanced. At the age of five, he saw a, a, a Qigong master, not Qigong master, excuse me, a Tai Chi master in the park. And this Tai Chi master, Tai Chi is, is you know, this kind of movement, a little bit faster than Qigong. Uh, and Tai Chi, this master had three students, three adult students. And he watched the students fly at the master to attack the master. And the master pushed his hands out. And the, the student, who was several feet away, flew backwards. They were not touching the master, did not get in the master's hands. Imagine a five years old watching this with his own eyes. Imagine how big the eyes are. How did this master push back this person when he wasn't even near the master? And so this was the beginning of his spiritual journey. And this is the movement of chi. Chi is life force energy. All of us have it. It comes from heaven, it comes from earth. It runs through the human vessel. And the Eastern um, uh, approach acknowledges that truth. Western approach has not quite got there yet. But even with that understanding, there is still not the above 70% on average uh, with both modalities. And so Master Shah went through a variety of additional teachings over the course of time and uh, trained with Qigong masters, became a Qigong Grand Master, recognized in 2002 uh, Fifth World Congress as uh, the number one Qigong Grand Master in the world. That was a pretty high uh, commendation. And a Qigong Master is one who works with life force Qi. But in training with Master Guo, he received deeper understanding of the nature of soul, which is what the workshop is that I'm asking all of you, my soul warriors, to promote on, on my behalf. This is not to support Paul. This is to support all the people you love and care about that have contracted this condition known as cancer. And honestly, it matters not uh, the label or where it's at. Um, it can be in any place in the body. The reason why is because of the way soul works. Uh, and again, I am speaking this 
to to all of you, all of the listeners uh, and the watchers, in a way where not only you have a deeper understanding, but those you share it with will have a deeper understanding. I want you to feel so comfortable with the sharing of this that you don't believe it will challenge their belief systems. Okay? Because I know that, that that's a concern for some of you. I want to state clearly as I move into the subject of the soul for all those watching new for the first time that this is information I'm going to be sharing. It's not religious based. Uh, it honors all belief systems. Uh, I have a strong belief in our beloved creator and I'll be coming from that perspective. But to understand the nature of soul and the Shen Qi Jing blockages, we must move above energy and we must move above matter. We must understand that we all have a soul and that every soul um, in all the time that soul has been in existence has not always been perfect. I am sure that you know of very beautiful beings a uh, 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 pure heart beings, grandmothers and, and, and uh, aunties, we call them here in Hawaii, that just w give you the shirt off their back. They'll give you their last piece of food and not worry about it because they trust, you know, Creator will bring them more. And yet those souls sometimes have very difficult lives. Um, all of us know those kinds of beings. So the question becomes, why? Why such a beautiful beings have a, a cancer? Or, or significant suffering? The answer is simple. They have blockages at the level of soul. The soul blockages Master Shah has come to understand is what he refers to as Shen, Qi, and, and Jing blockages. We just spoke about Jing and Qi blockages, but we haven't spoken about the soul blockages which break down to soul, heart, mind. So what is the soul? The soul is a golden light being. The soul was created by Creator. The soul is endowed with the purity of the Creator. And that's why the life force energy of heaven and Mother Earth go through every soul, because we are from the Creator. But the blockages in us inhibit us from that uh, connectivity the way we would enjoy. And those blockages... Oh, I can feel the sneeze coming on. One more. The blockages um, are created by spiritual debt, D-E-B-T, spiritual debt. Spiritual debt is not only ours. Spiritual debt is also from our mother and father, our father's mother and father, and their mother and father, our mother's mother and father, and their mother and father. And it goes back seven generations. Uh, you've heard that <coughs> modern medicine recognizes genes and how uh, the gene um, carries with it precursors that could lead to somebody having that same malady uh, through the ancestral tree. It's the same understanding except it's built on the spiritual understanding. There is a spiritual reason why that gene goes through that ancestral tree and then comes to that person and maybe the father had heart attacks so the, uh, the son has heart attacks at too, too young of an age maybe 40 or 45 instead of you know 70 80 there is a reason <clears throat> for everything physical for everything energetic there is a precursor and that precursor is soul the soul is eternal has no expiration date the physical life unfortunately does and the quality of the physical life is completely dependent upon our interconnectivity to the soul Our soul is the carrier of our spiritual debt and our spiritual virtue. Cancer, uh, uh, arthritis, heart conditions, whatever the uh, unpleasant physical experience is, has a root. Everything has a beginning. Now on the physical level, as I was speaking about earlier, <clears throat> we can easily see that the toxicity in the water, the toxicity in the foods, the genetically modified versions of the foods, the, the, the frequencies that have inundated our lives this last 20 years, from everything from cell phone frequencies to, to Wi-Fi channels to you, know, you can't walk in. There's towns now, entire towns. Just You can just walk through the town and turn on your cell phone. You get a frequency. 
Well, the human body emits a different frequency. It has a, it has a hertz, it has a frequency that it vibrates at, which reflects perfect health. <laughs> These other frequencies do not align to that perfect health. So you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure out that the human body is being negatively impacted at the cellular level from these pollution things all around us. So it's easy to say that a cancer or anything else that uh, medicine has put a label on has been brought on by too much of this, too much of that, too much stress, too much whatever. The soul world and the soul solution looks at it entirely different. The soul solution looks at it from the perspective of <clears throat> there is a reason uh, that heart condition came to your great grandfather, to your grandfather, to your father, to you. There is a reason why cancer has run through the family, bladder cancer, blah, 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 blah. There is a reason why brain cancer has run through the family, da, 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 da. <laughs> and that reason is the spiritual debt that either you or the ancestors have created over the course of time. Remembering that every soul has free will. This is a mandate that has been, has been agreed upon with all uh, of the uh, wisdom teachings from all of the teachers worldwide. That wisdom teaching states that every soul has free will. That doesn't mean that every soul, unlike you, made the best choice. Maybe you have made excellent choices. You have been an a, a optimal servant to humanity. I hope so. We need more of them. Uh, and you may not remember um, when you may have made unpleasant choices, especially if you have a belief system that recognizes lifetimes before this one. If you don't, that's okay. Do know that your ancestors have definitely lived before you. And in either case, if you believe in more than one life or if you believe in ancestors, in either case, spiritual debts have been incurred. Now, why is that so important to grasp on a very deep level? Because if you can grasp that major spiritual debts have been incurred, you can also start the process of removing the root. <laughs> Imagine a big, beautiful, grassy lawn growing perfectly well, and then you look out one morning and there's five or six very unpleasant weeds growing right in the middle of your beautiful grass. What are those weeds? Those our spiritual debt. Uh, the Buddhists call it karma. Um, uh, other other belief systems call it de de, and the uh, the Christian and the Catholic uh, teachings, Baptist teachings, Baptist teachings, what you sow is what you reap. Matters not the language. There is a source that brought about those pollutionary conditions that entered your body. There's a source that brought about those conditions that caused the car accident. There's a source that brought about those conditions that brought on the cancer. Okay? So yes, the physical world brought about those conditions, but you go to the root. When you comprehend the root, you can go through the process of pulling out the root. The pulling out the root might not be as easy as one thinks. A lot of people, they just go and they cut it off. Does the weed grow back? You just cut it off, does the weed grow back? <clears throat> 99 out of 100 times, the answer is yes, because the roots are still there. This is where modern medicine makes its errors. They're addressing things at the level of energy and matter only. It's great that they're addressing it at all, and there is a success rate for them, but that, that leftover 30% <laughs> simply uh, is not being addressed. The um, industry as a whole doesn't have proof that soul exists. They can't see it with their eyes, they can't touch it with their fingers, they can't taste it with the sense of taste, they can't hear the soul, they cannot use any of their five senses, therefore they cannot validate it. <clears throat> this is a very, very sad uh, perspective because it's like saying God doesn't exist, it's like saying Jesus doesn't exist, it's like saying Buddha doesn't exist. It's kind of um, silly when you think about it, but there are those that have very, very strict mindsets that choose to maintain that belief. And that's the reason why Master Shah 
brought this book forward called Soul, Mind, Body, Science System. He is, is, is he's not oblivious. He was a doctor. He understands the monkey mind. He understands that people need validated proof with the five senses that they have so far developed because trust me when I say we have a lot more senses that are not developed. <clears throat> but these are the five that are developed. <clears throat> and so the the unfortunately the vast majority uh, of us that are unawakened uh, depend on those. So Master Shah went about working with a physicist, uh, working on actual physics um, uh, criteria to validate the existence of soul, to validate the existence of spiritual debt and spiritual virtue and how it can travel through time to impact us. This is literally being validated as we speak through scientific formula that will be irrefutable through the course of time. There are, of course, many who refuted the law of gravity until it became irrefutable. There were many who refuted many things that Einstein said until aspects of it are become irrefutable. And it takes time for the scientist mind to go through their processes of refute to come to irrefutability. But the physics is there. The next thing that Master Shah is doing <clears throat> to validate the power of soul and its ability to uh, that if you uproot things by removing the spiritual debt blockages at the level of soul is he has a, uh, a teacher a very high level teacher who studied with him for the past almost 20 years <coughs> who is also a very very highly well respected brain surgeon and this teacher has combed through thousands of cases whittled it down to 60 bulletproof cases that have all the placebo studies, everything, the validations, the befores, the afters, the x-rays, the this, the that, <coughs> that validates, <coughs> excuse me, that when people apply the soul wisdoms and the soul teachings, the, the various practices that will be offered at this workshop on June 10, by the way, the workshop's only 20 bucks. It's just an educational workshop. So there's almost nobody that can't afford that. Okay, so anybody you know of, make sure you know what it. They can find it on my webpage. It's on the first page. You just go to my website, asoulhealer.com, scroll down near the bottom, and you'll see the links for registration. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, uh, when they understand that the nature of soul uh, is such that I want to catch catch where I was at. Sorry, I lost track. Shen Qi Jing blockages. So uh, the Shen Qi Jing blockages are soul, heart, and mind, which impacts the energy, which impacts the matter. What are soul blockages? Soul blockages are karma, spiritual debt, things that we personally had done to cause harm or suffering to others. What does that mean, causing harm or suffering to others? That means all forms of harm or suffering. It means even wrong thought. Because think about it, a lot of us, including myself, before I became a very um, aware spiritual student, I just did not want to believe. <clears throat> I just did not want to believe that... Um, my thoughts would create karma. I just, ah, uh, because I had too many negative thoughts. I had too many unpleasant thoughts. I had too many thoughts that I knew would create bad karma, so I was just in denial. But we are all created by our divine, right? Yes, thank you, Kristen. I see that. I promise you they're there, okay? Go to my homepage. Go down to where there is a light brown section. Click on the register button. You will find it. And if Kristen can't find it, I'm sure others can. It might just be, if I see that comment from others, then I'll believe it. But I just double-checked it. Okay. So, uh, soul blockages. I didn't want to believe that thought could create karma because it was too depressing. <laughs> it was too, it was too um, troublesome, actually. I just didn't want to go there. But I had to. Because when we're created from the Creator, the Creator's thought created us. He gave us, he, she gave us 
all of the uh, endowments of Creator <coughs> um, and free will. What we create is what we become. We think negativity, we get negativity. So we have to be uh, conscious of our thoughts. Our words. How many times in this lifetime only have our words created harm, uh, gossip, negative words towards others, anger, right? Uh, I can tell you I probably have more words that can fit in this room I'm in that have brought harm to others. <clears throat> so when I uh, share with you that we have created karma at the level of soul that's our personal stuff then there's the ancestral stuff we already been talking about that right what have they done by thoughts words and actions <clears throat> now this is works both ways there are uh, I have a, a plant right here in Honolulu that is um, 74 75 years old he just ran the uh, the uh, uh, 26k uh, uh, running at 72 73 years old very good health his mother just passed away at 105 okay 105 years old no complications her whole life why good karma her ancestors did good things also if the ancestors have good thoughts good words good actions serve others help others the descendants have long beautiful healthy lives do you know many people complaining about long, beautiful, healthy lives? No, we only complain when we're suffering. If the ancestors make unpleasant choices, and we have wrong thoughts, words, and actions, you can't tell me you didn't, then we also have spiritual debt to deal with. And so don't blame the ancestors. Don't get caught up in that one. It's something that we all have the good side and the unpleasant side. So soul has the three parts, soul, heart, mind. What is the heart Heart. The heart part, soul, heart, mind, all belong to Shen. Remember, Shen, Qi, and Jing are the blockages. And the soul, heart, and mind are where all the blockages are generated. They create imbalances in the energy, which create imbalances in the matter, which formulate the conditions in which these physical world things come to us that create cancer and other pain and suffering. Back pain, doesn't matter what it is. <coughs> Shen is soul, heart, and mind. What are the heart blockages? The heart blockages are wide and many. Heart blockages are jealousy, looking at somebody and being jealous. Okay. Heart blockages are greediness, not sharing the food on your plate with the person next to you or even offering it. Uh, not offering it to God, to Jesus, to Buddha. There are uh, aspects of selfishness that range through our whole life. A pure being, like our beloved Jesus, like our beloved Buddha, like our beloved God, did not get to be there accidentally. They got there by purifying the heart. How do you purify the heart? These are the things I'll be talking about on the class. On June 10 the heart can be purified in many many ways uh, and it's a process but any effort we put to clear the karma blockages has a far greater potential to assist us with the soul level blockages that are the precursor the root that caused that thing called cancer and so the mind blockages how many people you know have, have had liver cancer? What are the mind blockages associated with that that ran through their ancestral tree? Off the top of my cuff, all things related to addiction, all things related to anger. A lot of people with anger get liver cancer. Now, there are some people that are just quiet as a mouse, never say anything because they hold in their anger. They don't express. They also have the potential of getting uh, a disease called cancer. These are aspects of lack of forgiveness. Everyone in my live streams, you know, I teach forgiveness. 
It's not one that goes by where I don't teach this. And in the workshop, those that attend will receive significantly deeper levels and layers of teachings on the nature and power of forgiveness. What is it? How to do it? Why we do it? And how to do it correctly? Offering forgiveness, asking for forgiveness at very deep levels, and forgiveness to self. Because forgiveness to self is very often a deep aspect of the roots that happen in our body. There are so many uh, ways to bring about a, re a reverse of these uh, very horrific conditions. And all of them could have a effect that you don't have it the rest of this life. You can cut it out, you can go to Eastern medicine, you can use frequency healing. There's a variety of things that could reverse that cancerous condition. The question is how long, and the question is, was the root removed? According to the uh, millions of people who have received blessings through Master Shah, his um, master teachers, his calligraphy teachers, healers, uh, and all of the practitioners that have received um, uh, transmissions that work with clearing blockages at the level of soul, according to those millions of people, they're very happy that they have gotten results that they were not getting any other way. And this was happening with Master Shah's teacher, Master Go, as well. The incurables came to him, and a vast uh, chunk of them would leave with no more conditions that they came in with, because he was working with the level of soul, teaching them, teaching them how to self-heal. Because the the practitioners, we actually don't do the the healing. We offer the teaching, the wisdoms. We do offer blessings, and we teach you how to self-heal. Uh, but it's important to always follow your doctor's advice. So. When we look at uh, mind blockages, which is the third part of Shen Qi, uh, Shen, Shen is soul, heart, mind. Mind blockages, negative mindsets. What's a negative mindset? Negative mindset is all Jews are, can't trust them. It's a negative mindset. What's a negative belief? A negative belief is that um, all men are untrustworthy. What's a negative attitude? Oh, that'll never work. Negative mindsets, negative attitudes, negative beliefs. Ego. Ego. Ego is when somebody turns off this video because they know but They know. They just know it. Ego is... Um, when we no longer allow other perspectives to enter. Even if you truly are 100% correct, a person with no ego would listen and acknowledge and they would say, thank you, I am grateful for this perspective. I have a different perspective and I'm choosing to stay with mine, but I'm grateful that you have come to yours and I honor your perspective. That's a no ego response. Negative mindsets, negative attitudes, uh, negative beliefs, ego, attachments. Oh, I have to have my cigarette. Uh, I, I can't leave without this or this or that. Oh, I'm not wearing pink today. It's Monday. I have to wear pink. Um, attachments. You know, I don't have my special pH water. Oh my goodness. Um, whatever it is, we all have them. Okay. All of these are um, soul blockages. They create spiritual debt in their own way. Ego creates spiritual debt through separation. We're no longer oneness. Uh, attachments, depending on what they are, separate us from source. I have to have this, I have to that. I only believe in one belief system. Attachment. That attachment 
supports your belief system and keeps you sane, so to speak. Uh, ego and attachment might lock you into a belief system that doesn't allow this almost irrefutable wisdom to, uh, to enter and serve you. And so these also inhibit us from awakening to all perspectives. Uh, our beloved Creator created seven billion human beings and is creating more as we speak. And they're all going to have a very unique perspective. So why can't we be free of all of these? Karma. Spiritual debt. And so these are the roots that create all of the potential suffering if we don't do the efforts to remove them. Now, now that you have a deeper understanding of that, it sounds a little overwhelming. Oh my God, how am I going to ever get rid of all of these mindsets, attitudes, beliefs? You know, how am I ever going to get rid of all these uh, negative thinking? How am I ever going to get rid of all this? Oh my God, I might as well just hang it up now. Understandable. <laughs> We're not trying to fix it all in this life. It'd be pretty dang hard if we could fix it all in this life. We would be what's called an enlightened being and we'd be hanging out with Jesus and Buddha. So the intention is not to fix it all in this life. The intention is to fully awaken to everything that can assist you with a condition that you may have. That's the intention. And so on the workshop uh, on June 10th, you, uh, those of you that are watching, will learn the deeper aspects, the deeper um, understandings of how you can empower yourself to self-heal. You will also uh, be taught the way Master Shah and his 10,000 Soul Mind Body practitioners uh, can offer blessings to help more rapidly clear the Shen, Qi, and Jing blockages. Because the reason, one of the reasons why Master Guo, his teacher in, in China, Master Shah's teacher in China, was able to have significant benefits uh, and people walking out with their conditions reversed is because he was applying uh, higher level blessings that m m substantially more rapidly cleared the Shen Shi Jing blockages than the individual could accomplish on their own. Master Sha then trained uh, significantly for the past 17, 18 years and has created 20 books to validate the efficacies of this and the um, the methodologies that will be shared on that on that uh, uh, four-hour workshop that I'll be doing <clears throat> how it works why it works what you can do to do it and then in in his workshops and in my workshops there is the opportunity for the individual to receive uh, what is called special services the special services are designed to assist the individual to stop suffering. They are designed to give the individual a lot more hope. And for that specific area, uh, dramatically have an impact on the amount of spiritual debt that had gathered and brought about whatever condition they are having. Um, so if from the beginning of this live stream to now you have a greater belief and understanding of the nature of what you sow is what you reap, the understanding of how the ancestors and their good services bring us wonderful experiences, and if we and our ancestors had made unpleasant thoughts, words, or actions, uh, negative thinking, negative attitudes, jealousies, if you even thought it, if you believe these things really do impact your health and well-being, your overall purpose for being here, if you believe that we are a soul having a physical experience, then you will grasp that clearing those blockages will truly help you. And in the um, uh, this four-hour workshop, I will do demonstrations for uh, one or two lucky souls. Um, and in those demonstrations, there will be um, the ability to measure 
the efficacy of special services because and I know some of you already know this so this is for those that might not be familiar as an example and I will probably do this during the the live stream during the, um, the actual four-hour workshop and by the way this is I'm conducting this on my own this is not through the center this is my own workshop um, if somebody has uh, or their ancestors have brought harm to people's spines then very often there is a direct association you have spine pain nothing seems to work blessings have been offered spiritual debt has been removed at the level of soul not at the physical being um, energy is moved therefore the matter is moved the spiritual debt has been released which I will explain in depth during that uh, class and sometimes certainly 50% of the time if not more there is an immediate measurable palatable recognizable uh, drop in the discomfort level they may have been at eight before at least 50% of the time it goes down to a four or less and just a matter of minutes uh, this is not a physical touch blessing this is a blessing that master Shah has become world-renowned for because it releases debt at the level of soul and it is that debt if you could see the golden light being your soul if you could see the spine of your soul it would have a darkness that represented that spiritual debt at the spine level and master Shah has has specialized and received special abilities that he has passed on to master teachers like myself to assist those that attend this workshop uh, or can call me directly if you want private sessions I'm happy to do that you don't have to go to the workshop you can just call me directly and I'm happy to give you private sessions um, but the results as I said are well over 50 percent uh, benefit instantly now when it comes to something like a cancer that's much more difficult to uh, validate instantly the purpose of that form of a validation is to shift the person's thinking so that they grasp that when spiritual debt is released that a physical manifestation of that can occur that is the key and that is why it's important to come to learn the full amount in the workshop so I will use a demonstration and then for those that are interested they can receive those special services either in the workshop or on a personal basis and so <clears throat> I will uh, wrap up now by offering a blessing to everybody including those that might be watching this for the first time uh, a few days ago I offered a blessing as well but for the uh, and you may request whatever you'd like but for the new person watching for the very first time that's looking for some validation my encouragement is that you ask for something measurable ask for something that uh, if you're feeling nauseous if you have a headache neck pain back pain knee pain ask for something measurable because that will assist you with a deeper understanding of what I'm doing because when I offer this blessing this is a remote blessing no different than all the blessings I offer I take no credit for it I give all credit to source and it is the source that is offering the forgiveness that releases the spiritual debt that then allows the physical to adjust back to uh, a less uh, uncomfortable position so I hope this explanation as a whole assists you greatly uh, I will now offer this blessing um, let me check as to which one I will offer okay So everybody prepare sit up straight wherever you're at back away from the back of the chair feet flat on the floor 
place your palms on your lower abdomen and drop your shoulders and relax bring your thoughts your mind and your breath into your lower abdomen take a deep breath in be fully present out of your mind into your lower abdomen <clears throat> silently make your request to heaven what you would like your blessing for pay attention to the pain number or the discomfort number give it a number is it a 10 the worst or is it a zero no problem at all give what you're requesting a number blessing will begin in 30 seconds make your request to heaven for what you would like a blessing for Blessing begin. Thank you, thank you. Healing treasures, please return. So I'll wait a few minutes to watch your sharing. Please share what you requested, what the number was before, what the number is now. And then all those that watch or listen to this later will be able to hear that efficacy. And welcome to all those that joined a little bit later. <clears throat> so this is what I would term a, um, a uh, low-level blessing. 
it was not uh, there's different levels of blessings that clear different levels of spiritual debt uh, someone that has the condition of cancer needs a high level blessing and they would also need uh, multiple blessings because uh, typically speaking something like a cancer has been growing for a while and much like an onion it needs to be peeled back <clears throat> and so when you're dealing with something like a neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, those have not necessarily have deep layers. So a, a, a lower level blessing like I was offered could move it from an 8 to a 4, from a 5 to a 2, and so forth. Uh, we see that all the time. Uh, Robin, her pain went from a 7 down to a 3. Congratulations. Thank you, heaven, for that blessing for Robin, this three-minute blessing. And so um, I do want to extend this to all of you. Uh, uh, it doesn't have to be limited to this condition. Um, it can be if you have a long-standing issue, a kidney, a heart, a spine, whatever it might be. The wisdom applies to all conditions the same. And so, uh, but I do ask of each of you that if you know of somebody that has a condition of this nature, uh, please, copy the URL on this actual video which uh, becomes available right after I finish um, you can right click on the video itself and it gives you the the URL um, and then just drop it into your friends um, timeline or his email or his message on Facebook whatever you need to do to let them know about it because they may respond they may not but you generate good karma by sharing because this wisdom could benefit that person and has the potential to save their life so it's truly remarkable uh, what heaven is willing to do so also i see um, kathleen monahan discomfort levels of the gums and teeth went from an eight to a one and then now to a zero congratulations kathleen simple three minute lower level blessing thank you heaven thank you heaven thank you uh and so christopher you're very welcome. You're very welcome, Susan. Uh, Linda Jansen says her back pain was a six. It's now a three. You're very welcome, Linda. Uh, Janine felt a cool breeze. Ali, she said, had dull and intermittent pain in the abdomen. It was about a six, and she has no pain now. Thank you, heaven. Thank you, Master Shah. Uh, wonderful, wonderful responses. Truly powerful from this uh, very short blessing. I can tell you that the high-level blessings can change your life and they're actually quite reasonable as far as the honor fees so please share um, I will be finishing this if you're new and you enjoy this you'd like to know more come to my website asohealer.com you can register there Kristen has posted uh, in in the timeline the registration as well and if not I apologize I thought I uh, uh, just by putting in my my website address that that would be sufficient because you just scroll down the first page and you'll be able to see the information for registering um, and then uh, I'm happy to answer any of your individual questions and if you're not comfortable joining a workshop you would just like individual blessings of course you can contact me that way and Christopher said he had no pain but felt the cleansing all over all the chakras including the crown chakras wonderful so thank you everybody for for coming today thank you for your blessings thank you for your sharing uh june 10 please tell everybody about this between now and then i look forward to serving them love you love you love you thank you thank you thank you thank you to all the beings of light please respectfully return gong song gong song gong song bye bye everybody